high. So you got your nice bake, but then you might have this or this or this. So I'll show you how to change this into this. Woohoo! All right, so we've got our mesh with our baked maps, but we've got some dodgy artifacts going on here. So we can actually manually fix this up. But first, I just like to separate every different section into its own layer. Create a new folder, just call that eyes, and then chuck a new fill layer in there and just change that color so it stands out. And then on the folder, just right click, go black mask, and then add a paint layer on top of that. Then we'll go to polyfill mode, change it to UV shell, make sure it's 100% white, and then just click on the eye. So I'll just go through and, and do that for each section. All right, so now I've got the head and the eyes masked out into their own folders. So first we'll work on the ambient occlusion channel, but by default, the ambient occlusion channel is not exposed to us. So if we go to texture set settings, Scroll down here, click on the little plus symbol, and then click on ambient inclusion. Now it's going to add it to our channels. So what I like to do first is just add sort of a global fill layer. Just drag that all the way to the bottom. And I like to just call this base. Because we want to edit the ambient inclusion map, everything we add as a layer is going to multiply to the global ambient inclusion channel. So we can go over to texture set settings. And if we scroll down to ambient inclusion mixing, if we change that to replace, then what's going to happen is it's going to basically, everything we add is going to replace our ambient occlusion map. So if we just go to our base layer and scroll down to where ambient occlusion is, if we just add our ambient occlusion map to this base, then now basically this is just replacing our ambient occlusion map. So if I go and choose our ambient occlusion channel, now you can see all the issues we have with our ambient occlusion map. So let's say we might want to just work on this eyelid section first, just to get rid of this um, dodgy detail. So we'll go to the head, because that's what we've got masked out here. And in this layer, if we add a new paint layer in here, and let's just call this something like AO fix. Now, all we want to do is adjust the AO. So I'll scroll down and I'm just going to only enable ambient occlusion and nothing else. And you can see here that by default, it's set to full white, which means if I go to my paintbrush and start painting on it, nothing's going to show up because it's set to multiply mode. Um, if I change this to a darker color, you can see now it's going to start showing up because that's how multiply works. If I go to the ambient occlusion settings, you can see here it's always set to multiply by default. So if we want to actually show the highlights, we have to change this mode to normal mode. If you change it in, in on just a layer, um, the highlights are still not going to show up because this is in a global folder and the global folder is set to multiply mode as well. So if we just change that to normal, now you can see that we can start to paint those highlight details um, that will replace our global ambient occlusion map. You know, one way you could fix this is by just, you know, selecting P uh, for the color picker, selecting a color nearby, and then maybe going in and manually painting this area away. Um, and that's great, but if you start to go over here, obviously you start to just, you're gonna have to use the color picker a lot. So one way you might wanna do it is by using the clone stamp tool. Um, so if we go to the clone stamp tool now, um, and just make this a little bit smaller, if I press V to select an area and then tr start trying to paint, it's actually not going to work because it's not sampling um, this actual map. It's only using this paint layer, which is basically transparent. So if we want to paint directly on this ambient inclusion map, what we have to do is we first have to fill this paint layer with the ambient inclusion map. So if we go right click on the ambient inclusion fix layer, add a fill mod, and then on this fill, uh, so click on the fill, we're gonna basically only enable ambient inclusion and then on our map here, we're gonna replace the ambient occlusion with a fill map. And then what we can do on top of this is we can just right click and go add paint. And now this is gonna work similar to how it was before, but now we wanna affect 
the um, ambient occlusion map that we've filled it with. So if we change it from multiply to pass through mode, now what's gonna happen is we can actually paint on this layer and we can affect the fill. So we can use our clone stamp brush now. So if I go to say, um, let's just sample a color here and now I start using the clone stamp tool, you can see that we're actually um, affecting it. We're affecting um, the paint layer like we're affecting the actual baked map. So it just makes it a little bit easier to go in here and, and paint those details. And we can also use cool things like we can go in and we can use the blur brush and we can just go in here and start blurring everything around if we wanted to. So let's just keep clone stamping this away. And you can see now we've just fixed up this area around the eyelid and it's non-destructive. So you can just turn this layer on and off. So now we could essentially just do the same thing with the eye layer. So if I scroll down to the eye layer, um, let's add a new paint layer to the eyes folder. And on this, we're gonna call it AOFix. And again, I'm only gonna enable the ambient occlusion channel. I'm going to right click and go add fill and then only enable the ambient occlusion, select our ambient occlusion map. And then we're gonna set the overall ambient occlusion blending mode of that layer to normal mode so that it doesn't, over, it doesn't multiply to the global one. And so then I'm gonna add a paint layer on top of that. And we're gonna set the paint mode to pass through. And now we should be able to do all the changes on the eye here. So we could go in and we could start, you know, painting this color in, or we could maybe uh, experiment with using the smudge brush. So we could start to smudge this up if we wanted to. Um, but in some cases you might want to um, just eliminate the ambient occlusion around this eye because you might want to animate your eyes moving around, which means you don't want to bake that ambient occlusion in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just choose a paintbrush and you can just press P to select, say, you know, some sort of bright color. And now we can start to paint the ambient occlusion map away. And then once you've done that, you might want to just um, switch over to your blur brush and just blur these areas in a little bit just to make it not so harsh. Um, so if I go back to material mode now, you can see that our ambient occlusion map is going to work a lot better. All right, so now we can fix the normal map. So to do that, we actually have to do similar to what we did with the ambient occlusion. We have to replace our global normal map so we can paint over it. So we'll go to texture set settings and by default, the normal map is exposed, um, but it's mixing mode is set to combine. So let's just change that to replace. And now you can see it's all gone uh, because we're not, we don't actually have it applied yet. So if we go back to our layers, scroll all the way down to our base layer. And because we've got normal activated here, we can scroll down and we can add our normal map in here. So we'll just, I'll just filter this by project, go to textures and then drag our normal map in. And now it's gonna show up again. So let's go to the eyes layer and we'll add a new paint layer and just chuck that into the eyes folder and call this normal fix. And then similar to what we did with the ambient occlusion, we want to fill this with our normal map. Um, but first we just want to make sure that we're only affecting the normal. So on this normal fix, I'm going to scroll down and only select normal here. And then let's add a fill and we're going to fill this, make sure that it's only has normal mode enabled. And again, we're going to drag our normal map into our normal channel. It's actually doubling the effect of our normal map. And that's because if we go to our normal map settings here, the layer mode is set to normal map detail by default. So we want to actually set this to normal so that it will, it will replace our base normal map with just a normal, um, with our normal map that's set to normal mode. So if we change our eyes folder, because this is the top layer, change that from normal detail to normal. And now we'll get our normal map showing exactly how it should. So now on our normal fixed layer, I can now add a paint mod and I can set this to pass through. Let's set a, uh, let's go back to our, just a normal paintbrush. And if we scroll down, we can see that 
uh, if I just enable only normal on this paintbrush, uh, we can see that the normal color is set to our um, base normal color, which is basically flat. So if I grab this now and start painting, you can see it's painting away all those dodgy artifacts. So I can show you if I go to the actual normal mode, you see this is what our normal looks like. And now you can see I'm actually painting away that dodgy detail. And because we don't want any, we just want to keep this completely smooth, uh, we can basically paint away all these edges around the eye there. Go back to material mode, and now you can see that eye is essentially fixed. Um, so now we can just do that same thing with the eyelid. So we'll scroll up to the head. Let's add a new paint layer. We'll call this normal fix. I'm going to drag it into the head layer. So I'm going to add a fill, and then I'm going to I'm going to make sure it's only um, got normal mode enabled. Drag a normal map onto that normal mode, so now it puts it back. But again, it's doubling up the normal channel because we have to change our head folder to normal mode. So now we've got our proper normal showing up. So now I can add a paint on top of this. Set the paint to pass through mode. Make sure our brush settings is on normal and our normal is selected. Now you should see here, I can start painting away those details. Um, the only problem is you can see that um, it's not as simple as just replacing it with a flat normal color because we actually have normal detail of this um, curve here that we want to keep. So what we actually have to do is if we go to the actual normal mode here, um, instead of just simply painting out a flat color, so you get this edge here, you might have to do a mixture. So you might have to go in and you know um, use the color picker to select this color and paint that in and just keep doing this. Um, so you could just keep reselecting that color and drag that in. Um, that's fine. Let's go back to our clone stamp brush over here and I can just basically select a color out here somewhere and then I can start painting this back in. All right, so our clone stamp brush isn't working and that's because our clone stamp is only set to AO. So we just wanna set that to normal. Now we should be able to sample that normal detail with our clone stamp brush. All right, so once you've got your, you've painted in your normal fixes, go back to material mode and you can see now um, your eye um, details has all been fixed up. This is the dodgy eye and that's the good eye. All right, well, hope that helped. Cheers, thanks, bye, woo!